Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you some beads that I found at the dollar store. So I've already taken these beads out of their packaging and put them in my own packaging. And these are what you get. They like to give you different textures in each of them. I got the green package, but there are multiple other options. But they give you a small quantity of each texture and then give you multiple textures. So what I actually think is pretty cool with that idea is just that in reality, if you wanted to do a mixed media bracelet or something like that, you have all the different textures that you can just string them all on and it's kind of, I think it's kind of fun. But anyway, here is one of them. It kind of has an AB finish on these cones. Something I don't like about working with these is they often have sharp edges, not only when they're at coming from dollar stores, but I'm just saying this kind of bead often has that. And then it can slice right through your thread that you're using. So I don't love using these beads for projects, but they are in there and they are pretty. I already put them in bags and then I like to store them in these little containers that you can also find at the dollar store. But I really think that these containers are nice. But those are pretty. You also get these just kind of, I think they're like painted very light green on the very inside and then that kind of comes through. There are those. Then they give you some seed beads. These are see-through and then they just have the centers painted green. Here are some more green beads. These are seed beads again and it looks like the actual glass is green and then they have like an AB purpley blue finish. And then we have this and this is silver lined darker green. So that's also really nice looking. And then they also have these beads, more of those cylindrical beads. So I mean, they do give you quite a few different types of beads, styles of beads. Um, it looks like for this pack, it's three different types of seed beads, three different types of cone um, cylindrical beads. So that is a cute kit and I do think that you could do a lot of different fun stuff with this. Um, like I previously said, you could probably also do like a multimedia um, necklace, anything like that. Though these might have sharp edges against your skin, so I don't know. But this is all for a dollar, so it's probably a good deal. I don't know, I would probably myself rather go to a craft store like Joann's or something and get a mixed um, bead mix bag where you can separate the different colors of seed beads and I could get seed beads which I work more with those than with these but if you wanted to buy this this is only a dollar and you do get six different types and colors different shades of green beads so if you wanted to do that that's that color then I also got pink. I have used a few of these. When I was younger, I used some of these when I was first starting to do jewelry and I um, wrapped around um, bobby pins with seed beads with very thin wire and then I also have made stretchy bracelets with these in different designs. So this is the light pink beads. Then we also have these, so this is see-through, those tube beads again. Then we have see-through pink lined, pink like painted seed beads. I'll move these to there, so we have enough room to see all of them. Here are more pink beads. I actually think these look kind of fun. These make me think of bubble gum, so I do like these. That pearl finish with pink painted line, it looks like. 
And then we have, see this is different where you do have quite a few different seed bead types. So then this is like a solid pink, that's nice. And then we have huge glass beads. And these are painted. These are see-through beads with painted pink inside. And um, I think these did get mixed up with some of my beads. I don't think they had the white beads in the kit. It was just the see-through pink aligned. So as you can see, five different types of seed beads in this one and just one of those tubular beads. So this one also is a very good option if you do want to work with seed beads and just pink and that was for a dollar. So now let me show you another type. So this is the blue packet that I bought. So in this one, they do have different sizes of beads in the different colors too. So this is the blue, and these are big, probably like 6-0 oh seed beads. And then we have these, which are just a slightly different, almost darker. This one is like a solid pearl, and this is a see-through white with blue painted inside. And then, we have frosted darker blue. And then we have, these are kind of nice looking. This is a darker blue with a silver lined. And then we have um, a see-through-ish purpley blue with an AB finish on them. All of these are in that 6-0 size. And then we just have one bit of the tubular beads and these are frosted blue. So again, if you wanted more seed beads instead of the tubular beads, you might wanna go with this mix. But these are all 6-0 beads, so um, you could keep that in mind. If you didn't want so many 6-0 beads, maybe try the pink mix first. There are other packages out there too. I think I've seen browns and um, like more orangey, orange colors and brown tones. So there are a lot of options out there. Not a ton. If you wanted a specific type of bead, I probably wouldn't recommend these. But if you were just trying to um, start up your bead collection and you wanted a little bit of different variety on shapes, sizes, and colors, then you could definitely go with this. So I'll lay these out here so you can kind of see what you get. I have used a few of the beads from both the blue and the pink mix, and then the green mix, I actually haven't used any of these beads yet. that you enjoyed this video. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.